Hi, Leo. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle Card Readings for November 2023. These readings will be for all Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We'll do a money and career reading first, and we'll have a love reading. And thanks to everybody for all the support. I want to jump right into it, but first I'd like to Welcome anybody who's new here and let you all know that I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I've also been adding in a Wednesday reading here and there for money and career. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it helps so people will see the reading. But then it also too will tell YouTube to put a those Wednesday readings into your algorithm so that you know that they're out there. All right. What advice do you have for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Leo need to know about money, please? Advice for Leo. We are going to do a four-card reading. I'm going to pull a moonology manifestation to kick things off. This is interesting. You have the tower. The Fool, the Queen of Cups, and the world is in the advice, but let's see what else. We're going to read this Moonology in both. We're going to tie it into both the money and the love reading. What does Leo need to know, please? First quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation, okay? So especially with the tower in the past, this is a midlife crisis card. It's a big wake-up call. Now, if you lost your job, hey, I'm here to tell you it's going to be okay. The cards indicate finding your nirvana. There was something here that was a major course correction. Now, if you did not lose a job, but this is it, this can be a uh, the corp card of the corporate raider. But I also get it in terms of what I call spiritual breakdown. Oftentimes we think we're having a mental or emotional breakdown, but it's truly of a spiritual nature. And so what this does for you is creates an awakening in your life. This is the epiphany card. It's where everything comes to the light. It's where you have a new realization. You have the end of delusions and it shifts you into evolving and developing a radical new life. It's a wonderful change agent anytime it shows up. I love the tower. Now, sometimes it does feel like a gut punch, but it does serve a purpose. So with the tower, it's an ending for a new beginning. And truly, whatever this was, now if it was a job or a, a car that you couldn't afford or a housing situation that was no longer enjoyable to you, it is a situation that's not sustainable. It's not going back to what it was. And so with this, it's a tower built on sand. It's meant to come down. With this, the fool is born, the hero's journey. It's like, reminds me of like going outside. If you if you live in an area where there are torna tornadoes after a huge storm or something like that, and everything's so still and quiet, and it's like you look around and you're just so grateful. You're just ready to move forward. That's what this is. You have unlimited opportunities coming into your experience here, Leo. So if you have a job, a new job, in the energy of the fool, the fool is known as the beginner's mind. So it's like you're a sponge with anything you need to learn. And if you've gone back to school, even better. Anything you need to learn and study, it's going to feel easy to you in the energy of the fool. The fool is a vision quest. So the fool puts you on course and puts you in the place of feeling adventurous, feeling like you're seeing the world through brand new eyes. And so whatever it is that needed to change, I feel like it's left your life for good. Because with the fool, you're ready to take the, the leap of faith. This is awe and infinite opportunities. It's climbing up that, see that white stuff? That's a mountaintop. It's climbing up that mountaintop and soaring to heights you didn't know were available to you. So keep your good ideas to yourself too. If you think that it's a little bit outside of the box, all the better. But just be careful who you tell those to because you have a wonderful energy in the Queen of Cups, but sometimes when we tell our big ideas to a small person, they shrink those ideas right down. They put on their layers of doubt and negativity, and we don't need that. 
So what you're going into is a time, trust your intuition is what they're really telling you here. It is a time too, though, of telling you to have self-care, take good care of yourself as your life expands and unfolds because it's an exciting time. And sometimes when we do that, our energy just gets going so fast. It's like we're running to stand still. So with the Queen of Cups, you do have a confidant here, um, but it may be somebody who gives you guidance. And I'd say in that case, it's okay to take the guidance without feeling like you need to be of service in some way. You, you'll have your time when you need to, when that is an opportunity or a door that's open for you. But in terms of a new job too, it's gonna be one of those times where you feel right at home. That's what this is all about. It's feeling right at home. And so the world, one of the best cards in the deck, here's when the hero, your soul, on the hero's journey, has every single achievement the soul sets out to find. That's what the world represents. It is a complete energy of success, of new perspectives. It's travel and moving too. So if you are looking to move, I feel like they're telling you this is a great time to do it, that you are going to capitalize on an opportunity. So there may be something, especially those of you who are trying to move, keep your eyes open because you may come into something that whether it's a short sale or somebody needs to sublet for a year or something where you go, I can't even believe this happened. Here it is, okay, with the energy of the world. So I feel like that assess the situation card that came up is all about keeping things in perspective, knowing that there's more for you, that there's always more opportunities coming in. What else does Leo need to know, please, about money? You've got the Phoenix, which I love with the energy of the tower. Be prepared to be uh, renewed after a period of crisis. So those of you that really resonated with the tower, you're coming into a period of renewal. You have it with the energy of the world here too. All right. What does Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus need to know to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please. What advice do you have for Leo about love? Same setup, four cards. You've got the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. What a beautiful reading. And the King of Cups. Now, remember, we had the Queen of Cups in the last reading. So I feel like those two are connected that you've got a beautiful match showing up. So what I like about this with the card of assess the situation is the King of Swords is very no nonsense. So some of you may have had a turning point in the past where you said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not taking on projects. I'm not taking on somebody. I look at their potential, not who they really are, but we've all done it. You know, they've got great potential, but they don't have it. They're not there. And if it's somebody, too, from the past who'd also tried to change you, I feel like they're trying to say, you know your value, your worth, because the King of Swords, too, doesn't care what other people think. And so I feel like you had kind of a turning point here in love. But what it does for you, that serves a purpose. The clarity that the King of Swords delivers helps you to identify exactly what kind of a relationship that you want. Okay, if you're the kind of person, you're always doing nice things for other people and you're thinking, I'd love to find somebody like me. And that's not arrogant because I get this feeling of like things that you've done above and beyond. And it's like it, finding a match to that. You know, truly, that's why we're here. We're here to find matches. And so with this Ace of Pentacles, get ready because this is somebody that will love you beyond belief and somebody who will run the distance. Here's the happily ever after. You have the fairy tale card in the outcome. So we can't really argue with that either, can we now? So with this Ace of Pentacles, it does feel like a new person coming in after what may have been a decision, like if, I, if love comes in, great, but if it doesn't, that's okay too. And if it was a breakup, it feels like a brand new beginning and it needs to, okay? We know that love is energy and energy is never created or destroyed, but we have to be in the place where we're aligned with the energy of love. If we manifest from a place of being emotionally unavailable like the King of Swords, we won't have much longevity. We won't be getting this, at least. So the Four of Wands is happily ever after. Like I said, it's dreams come true. It's a wedding, for crying out loud. 
It's a true partnership. So for somebody, you got a marriage coming in. I mean, let's not pull any punches. Let's call it like it says, like the card is supposed to be read. And so it's the 1111 card. So pay attention to those synchronicities. If it's 1111 when you're watching this, allow yourself to pause for a moment and say, universe, I feel you. I feel you trying to move me along in this course and I want to go with you. I want to have this. And so it's a wonderful card of law of attraction as well. But with the King of Cups and your advice, I feel like your advice right now is to be an open book. You know, with the King of Swords, that, that energy of I don't care what people think, you're not as maybe vulnerable as you, as you might have been before or fearful of will I ever find somebody. And so when you come at things as a King of Cups, you're going to find a match for sure. It may be a Queen of Cups like we saw in your money reading. That may be why that was poking in to that money reading. But with this, it's a very mature relationship. It's being able to express your feelings and say what you want and need out of a relationship. So let's see what the whispers of love want to tell you about love. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth because you are love. You're a magnet for love, Leo. I love you too, and I'll be back again soon.